Angela can't reveal the details of her source's account of how Dollar Bill and Crail Brooks allegedly killed Charlotte in these woods. But she does share some startling new information. When I was told about this location, that there were not just Charlotte's body here, but there are others. So there's a potentially a graveyard out there. Yeah, we could have a killing field out here. This could be their, their dumping spot and murder spot, actually. Yeah. I, and what if we're wrong? What if there's nothing out there? I do feel that she's here. Charlotte and I don't know who else, but I do feel that she's here. The information was just too specific. What's the next step from an investigative standpoint? I believe this is a federal case because Dollar Bill was distributing and, you know, Distributing drugs across state lines. Right. They're going to Mexico, bringing the drugs in from Mexico. Then there's murder also. So, you know, there's a lot of elements that raises it to a level of a Rico. Rico. Yes. The next step is um, the property needs to be secured and they need to come in here and do a search. So in order to do that, this is private property, so they need to get a search warrant to go in there and, and search the property. In order to get law enforcement involved, Angela reaches out to her contact at BCI, Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigation. I have a location of where um, Charlotte's remains might be. You're gonna wanna get a search warrant um, for this particular property and actually get out there as soon as possible so that anything isn't moved. 